And you, I, uh, two other things. I noticed you, you mentioned uh, the disastrous, unconstitutional ruling by the Supreme Court yesterday, basically allowing the federal government to allow an invasion on our southern border. How concerned are you with that and then the implications that that could have with their decisions around President Trump on the ballots going forward, especially with this lawfare uh, weaponization of the justice system against President Trump? Right. This is how communism starts. Um, I was just talking to a New Hampshire voter right here in Independent, and he was saying that statism is a concern, that big government is a concern. That's what the Biden administration absolutely has brought, is big, powerful government, which is communism. I'm extremely concerned about that Supreme Court ruling. We literally saw a ruling that's going to put the federal government at war with the state of Texas. Listen, let's be clear. Let's be clear. It is my job. Every time I hear this nonsense about communism, about how it begins or where it began, people are ridiculous. Here's my problem. She's at a rally for Donald Trump in New Hampshire, a person who praises Vladimir Putin, who is probably the world's most famous communist. The problem is not that Putin is smart, which of course he's smart, but the real problem is that our leaders are dumb. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. We got a lot of killers. Why you think our country's so innocent? It doesn't wrong with taking information from Russians. Is he trying to snuff out Christianity? Does he eat dogs? These are fair questions, and the answer to all of them is no. You know, they say about America, they say diversity is our strength, you know. And I look at China and I look at Russia, who can we give a round of applause for Russia? Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's the podium that Marjorie Taylor Greene then went appeared at. And today, she started feeling the heat. She tried to pretend she had no idea who the white supremacist guy was or what he stood for. But you can see from her speech, right after his, that she knew exactly where she was. You know what it's like to be canceled. And that's why I'm here to talk to you tonight. I don't believe anyone should be canceled. I don't believe in, I don't believe in, separating people and identities. I don't believe in separating people in classes, but that's what the Democrats believe in because that's what Marxism is. Her support for Trump is a wink and nod to the Russian government. This government would love to see America unstable and they're going right along with it. They being the MAGA movement. It is no need to pretend that the federal government trying to protect our borders is unconstitutional. It is no need for this woman to pretend, this woman who is not an attorney of any standard, by any standard, trying to tell the Supreme Court that they're off. And keep in mind, this is the most conservative Supreme Court in all of our lives. Hands down, hands down. Trump appointed significant portion of this Supreme Court and to believe that they are doing something that's anti-constitutional to help the Biden administration is absolutely ridiculous. However, they do understand that it is the federal government's job to patrol who comes within the borders of this country. That is not even debatable. That is a dumb conversation to have. Let's be serious. Texas is out of line trying to create new barriers at the United States border with Mexico. This is not even an argument. This idea, this replacement theory idea is grounded in white supremacy. Marjorie Taylor Greene is absolutely disgusting pretending that she care at all about this government or that she knows anything about communism. This is not how communism began. The federal government protecting this border is not how you start communism. It is not a single stage articulated by Karl Marx and on the pathway to communism. It's not what she's trying to do. She's not pretending that she's a scholar. She's an idiot. And the people listening and following and hearing and resharing her don't care about facts either. They don't care about policy. They just care about one thing, whiteness. That's why the replacement theory is so prevalent. It is no different 
It is no different than the lies that they say about why the Civil War was fought. It all boils down to one thing, white supremacy. And that makes some of y'all uncomfortable. You are afraid to cause a law called a large swap of white America races. Well, racism doesn't just mean you were a clan hood. The policies, the actions, and the candidates you support can line you up to be a racist as well. And right now, the MAGA movement is showing us through Marjorie Taylor Greene and other mouthpieces that they are comfortable with the label. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't be MAGA and don't be racist.